Great. Now I've got the index page broken up. You can see I've got all my broken up pages up here. Page one begins with How to Do Pilates, a six-part series. Part one has part one at the top, and then it ends with this word routine, which I spelled wrong in the text file. It did say routines, so I'm going to change that to an E and save it. I had the same thing on part two. It starts with part two, and at the bottom I had to change the E. Part three, part four, part five, and part six. The same thing. I had to change the S to an E. Now we're ready to start our tagging. I'll start with the index page, and I will add my shift exclamation point, the HTML skeleton. I'll put these two tags at the bottom. And I'll do the same thing on the other parts. With this completed, I'll go back to the index and I'll put in some of the main tags. I know this is going to be my header section. And I know this will be my navigation section. This will be my main section. And this will be my footer section. So I need to do that on all of the pages. Just break up their sections in the same way. Header, nav, main, and footer. All right, with that part done, now I can go back to index and begin to do some of the more intricate styling. I know this will be an H1, and I think this will be an H2. Uh, the nav is all going to be links, so I know there will be an A before each item and an A after each item. I'll do that part first. Alright, I've got my links in there. Now I need to add the attributes to the link tag. And to know what the attribute will be, all I have to do is look over here at my page names. This will be href equals, in between the quote marks, will be index.html. Same with this one, href 
equals and in between the quote marks will be part underscore one dot html and you know i could actually just copy this whole tag just to make my work easier and paste it here change the one to a two same thing with this one change the one to a three this one change the one to a four and this one and change the one to a five and the last one change the one to a six now all my links are working I think it's time for me to take a peek at this page and see what it's looking like. There it is. So let's just check to see if these work. They do. I have to hit the back button because I haven't styled the links, tagged the links on any of the other pages. All right. Now I could, instead of styling all the links on the other pages, I could simply copy the whole nav section and go to each of these pages and insert the styled links. Why make extra work? You may have thought that this number of pages would be a lot of work, but look how easy it is. Here we go. Now all of the pages. Oh, I can't use... See, this is my open editors, this section here. Whereas this down here, this is the one I can right click to choose open with live server. So home, part one, part two, part three, part four. Now the navigation works on all pages. Let's go back to the document here. We've got the H1, the H2, and the nav on the index page. Let's get the H1 and the H2 on all the pages. So the H1, is going to be the part and the H2 is going to be the label for the page, what it does. All right, I think we've done a lot of good styling. Let me save that. Let's look at all these pages again. My live server should still be up. There it is. So now, if we look at each part, it'll have its H1 and its H2 all in place. What did I just see on this one? There's an L right there on part four. Let's just see what that mistake is. Oh, it looks like I put my H2 in the wrong spot. There we go. Much better. All right, in the next video, we'll do a little more styling.